Hey guys, welcome to vdchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss laws of logarithms. So firstly, let us discuss logarithm of a product. Now, let us consider log ab to the base x which is equal to p. And now, this logarithm function can be written as exponential form and we can write this as ab is equal to x power p. And now let us mark this as equation 1. Now again let us consider log a to the base x which is equal to q. That implies we can write this as a is equal to x raised to the power q. Now this is equation 2. Now again considering log b to the base x which is equal to r that implies we can write this as b is equal to x raised to the power r and now this is the equation 3. Now let us multiply equation 2 and equation 3. That implies we get ab on the left hand side which is equal to x to the power q into x to the power r on the right hand side. That implies we get ab is equal to x raised to the power q plus r. This is the equation 4. Now in the equation 4 by substituting ab equal to x power p from equation 1 we can write this as x power p is equal to x raised to the power q plus r. Here, as the bases are equal, we can equate the powers. That implies we get P is equal to Q plus R. Now here, by using equation 1, 2 and 3, where we have the values of P, Q and R, we get log AB to the base X, which is equal to log A to the base X plus log B to the base x. So here this is the law of logarithm of a product. So now let us discuss the another law that is logarithm of a quotient. So in order to discuss this law let us consider log a by b to the base x that is equal to p. That implies we can write this in exponential form as a by b is equal to x raised to the power p. And let us mark this as equation 1. And now again, let us consider log a to the base x which is equal to q. That implies we can write this as a is equal to x raised to the power q and this is the equation 2. And now again, similarly, let us consider log b to the base x which is equal to r that implies we can write this in exponential form as b is equal to x to the power r. This is the equation 3. And now let us divide equation 2 and equation 3. We get a by b is equal to x raised to the power q by x raised to the power r. So here a by b is equal to x to the power of q by x to the power of r. From 1 we can write AB as x to the power of P. So here AB is nothing but x to the power of P which is equal to x to the power of Q by x to the power of R. That implies we get x to the power of P is equals to x to the power of Q minus R. Here this can be written by using the law of x to the power of M by x to the power of N is equal to x to the power of m minus n. So here as the bases are equal let us equate the powers. So we get p equal to q minus r. Here by using the equation 1, 2 and 3 we get the values of p, q and r that is equal to log a by b to the base x which is equal to log a to the base x minus log b to the base x. 
so this is the law of a quotient now let us discuss the another law that is logarithm of a power to discuss this law let us consider log a to the power of m to the base x which is equal to p and here this can be written as in exponential form as x to the power of p which is equal to a raised to the power of m this is the equation 1 and now let us consider log a to the base x which is equal to q that implies we can write this as a is equal to x to the power of q this is the equation 2 and from 2 so let us write the value of a in equation 1 that is a power of m is equal to x to the power of q whole power m that implies we get a power m is equal to x to the power of q m this is the equation 3 and by comparing 1 and 3 we get x power p which is equal to x power q m that implies here the bases are equal so we can equate the powers so we get p equal to q m so here from the equation 1 we get the value of p and from the equation 2 we get the value of q so we can write this as log a power m to the base x is equal to m remains the same into the value of q that is nothing but log a to the base x so here this is the law of a power so here these are the laws of logarithms so this was the basic introduction on laws of logarithms hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day